wet one this morning. Got a DAF CF Monty Year 17. Reportedly, heaters keep going to hot. Uh, power steering fault and an engine management fault. So, I'm going to get this vehicle in the workshop now and see what's going wrong. Once I had verified the customer's concerns, which was engine and steering malfunction, I got the vehicle into the workshop where I could run quick check on Davy to see all the faults on the ECU topology. I turned my attention to the issues from DIP which were displayed in the PCI ECU. The faults displayed were water and fuel voltage too low, water and fuel open circuit and power steering low flow. I started with some basic non-evasive diagnosis for the power steering system such as checking for leaks but the system didn't have any leaks. The faults with the power steering circuit was actually the oil level was too low so once I topped that up the fault had become inactive. Moving on to the water and fuel issue I thought the open circuit could have been possibly a broken wire or with the short circuit it could have been the component itself. As I went to remove the connector to check for corrosion and plug in a breakout lead the plug just come off in my hand. At some point somewhere this had been refitted incorrectly so luckily I was able to just plug it back in and then start the vehicle to see if the fault went from active to inactive on the dip. No, oh, that was easy. Once I'd confirmed that these faults were actually inactive, I took the vehicle for a road test. This allowed me to confirm that the repair was complete and also to warm the vehicle up, as the other fault was with the heating system. The complaint from the driver was that the heating system kept going to hot at random times. So I set up some monitoring data on Davy to test the various actuators for the heating system on the LIN system. I then proceeded to operate various heating positions on the cabin climate control system to attempt to get it to fault. DAF changed the cab climate control system in 2017 by updating how the system worked, removing the need for using cables and knobs for operation and implementing a fully electronic system with actuators linking these all together with the LIN system. This not only allows the system to be fully automatic in temperature control, but also has the ability to throw fault codes on different actuators. One of these measures is that it can go into a safe mode, where it sets the air mix to 100% hot, all the air is distributed to the window screen, and the heater goes into recirculation mode, with the heater motor being activated. This is the situation I thought I was dealing with here, so I was attempting to get it to fault to give me some fault codes on the cabin climate control system, but I had no such luck. Everything worked as it should, until I managed to cause the fault by turning the truck off and then back on. The actuator in question was the air mix actuator and as you can see even though the cabin climate control states low the live data displayed on Davy is 65 degrees. So I decided to strip the dash down and investigate this further. I had no fault codes and no issues with the LIN system so I decided to watch the actuator flap for the air mix And as you can see from the video, it gets stuck in the hot position. I couldn't fault anything in the system, but I do believe if the ECU gets reset with certain fault codes, it will not display these faults again. So I took a gamble on the heater mix actuator being at fault as I've changed a lot more of these than I have any cabin climate control ECU or climate control display. With that changed, I then did to calibrate the new actuator limit by removing the fuse and checking for system operation. I couldn't fault the system again, so I released the vehicle back to the customer. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more of this, please like and subscribe as it not only tells YouTube, but also me that people care. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you soon.